It was exactly one year ago when we picked up the Zoom F6 in Portugal and since then we traveled and record sounds in over 10 different countries. And if you ever follow us along the way on Facebook, Instagram or here on YouTube, then you saw this recorder popping up on the feed and in different videos. Now what am I going to talk about in this video is why I love to record in 32-bit and I would like to give you some different examples and experience that I made along the way. One recent example is the cannon fire that I recorded in Zagreb just the other day before we left. We are in Istanbul right now and I got a comment on it and it was about nice how do you know where to set your levels when you can't test now imagine you're a tourist and you just have one day right and you come with your recording equipment and it's not a 32-bit recorder you you have to gamble with your levels if you don't clip it or maybe it's too low you you, you can't know that right but with a 32-bit recorder you don't have this problem now there are more examples when i was in the united states last year and i recorded all these freight trains and they pass by and it's just an incredible sound but if they blow the horn then you might have a problem that this audio clips because it is just so incredible loud but if you have a 32-bit recorder then you don't have to worry about these things except these loud horns or these loud sounds are higher than for example the SPL of your microphone. If this is starting to clipping then no 32-bit recorder can rescue this. I have an Audio Technica here that goes up to 145. This is super loud. The Sennheisers are between 120 and 140 if I'm correct. And then you have already huge range and now you record this in 32-bit. You have no problem with clipping. This is just one or two examples. The same is if you are working on set and you have a 32-bit recorder and you maybe don't know the script. Now, imagine one of the actors comes in and starts screaming and you're like, oh, and you see how your level going into the red. If you have a 32-bit recorder, you, you don't have to worry about it. And this is something that I want to show you here live in this video me talking very loud recording a 32 bit but not only we're recording extremely loud sounds i also want to show you something if you go down with the recorder to minus 60 db we record these sounds that you don't see at all and also for the fun the audio technica has a limiter with 10 db so you can go even lower so this is great if you have a 24-bit recorder and you're a little scared about two loud sounds then you have a microphone like the audio technica where you can regulate on the microphone you can go minus 10 db so that gives you another range but imagine it is too quiet what are you doing you're raising up the volume but if you have 24-bit and you're raising up the gain then you create noise 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 with the 32-bit you don't create the noise and I would love to show you this right now here because it's super exciting for me Okay, this is gonna be fun. You see here right in front of me This is the 32-bit loud and I just want you to listen to it right now how this sounds like Without adjustments 32-bit Can you hear me? That's good Because I want you to have all the background this is a very ominous assignment. I'm a doctor of journalism. This is important, goddammit. This is a true story. You see, everything is just in the red, in the red, in the red. But you have so much dynamic range. Let's see what's happening if I just go down with the gain, go down with the dB. You see how much is coming down and there is no cutoff of the fires, that's still here. Now let's listen one more time with the adjustment. Can you hear me? That's good. Because I want you to have all the background. This is a very ominous assignment. I'm a doctor of journalism. This is important, goddammit. This is a true story. That's incredible. You have absolutely no loss of quality. Everything is there. Let's hop over to 24-bit loud. Same, you see. But do you see the big difference? You already have a little bit way more noise in here. Let's bring it down. Let's see what happens here. First, we're going to listen to it, right? Here we go. We listen to 24-bit loud. Always a clap. 
this is loud dialogue 24 bit can you hear me that's good because i want you to have all the background this is a very ominous assignment i'm a doctor of journalism this is important god damn it this is a true story you can't even hear what, what I'm saying because it is so distorted. So what's happening if I lower down the dB? You see there is a huge cutoff here. Cut off. Everything that is above zero is just gone. It's, it's disappears. It's not there anymore. It's kaput. Now we bring it down to minus six and maybe we can rescue something. Here we go. This is loud dialogue. 24 bit. Can you hear me? That's good. Because I want you to have all the background. This is a very ominous assignment. I'm a doctor of journalism. This is important, goddammit. This is a true story. You can still hear this distorted audio and it is... Of course, nothing is impossible. Sound engineer can rescue these files, they can clean them up, but you spend so much time by trying to make this sound work, but if you would have used a 32-bit recorder, there would be no issue for anybody. But what about quiet, if it's super quiet? And imagine you have a recorder and you, for some reason, change the knob accidentally and you're down to zero with an H6, with an H8, or maybe you have another 24-bit recorder and you don't even realize that you are so quiet that you later on, if you would raise the gain, you would only create noise. And here, let's jump over to the 32-bit recording. You see, there's, there's nothing. Let's check out the spectrogram. There's nothing. So if this would be 24-bit, you were screwed. There would be nothing. There would be only noise. But let's raise this up to 90 dB. And remember, we put minus 10 dB on the Audio Technica and I put minus 60, that is minus 70 dB. And now let's raise it up. Let's count with me. 15, 30, 45. We see something here already. 60 dB. There's something coming here. 75, I can already see my voice coming up, but what I don't see is noise. And now we are at 90 dB. And now we're gonna listen to me reenact the beautiful whispering voice of Arvin and Lord of the Rings. Maybe there are some similarities. Frodo, I'm Arvin, tell and let Ted, I'm Arvin, I have come here to help. Lasto benin tolo dan an galad, hear my voice, come back to the light. Frodo's eyes closed. I know these are some two extreme examples, but let's have a conversation. Are you a fan of 32-bit or do you think 24-bit is absolutely enough for you? Just leave me a comment down below. As you probably saw in other YouTube videos, I'm the one or we are the people who also respond to our comments and not just let people hanging in the line. That's just something that I'm really passionate about it and I'm very curious about your opinion if it comes to 32-bit. For me as a sound library owner and provider, it is important that I can provide sounds in the highest quality possible. If I have to deal with files and have to process them and repair them, then I know I'm gonna lose quality, I'm gonna lose information. This is something that I really don't wanna provide. Now, you for example, I don't know if you are a sound designer, sound engineer, or you are a sound library owner. Is 24-bit enough for you or you like to deal with 32-bit files? This is 
really all up to you. Now here on our Freedio Sounds channel, we welcome everybody who like to see more uh, personal opinion videos, real world tests, small tutorials. Just feel free to hit the subscribe button and click the bell because we are going to produce even more videos because that's just what we like to do. So thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in our next video or in the comments down below.